to go down. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. And he takes the dish. The Canucks take it across the line. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Sends it over to Suzuki. And now he moves it quickly to Slavkovsky. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Throws it in. The Canucks gain possession, and the puck's kicked free. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Demko's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Doc's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless streak and continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. you got to focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. And now it's grabbed by Myers. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, they do it again! This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going, and he was ready for it. start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get out front, and you want to dictate pace. Well, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal where you out-battle and out-will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down, and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. The Canadians are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. We're still in the early stages of this period. Montreal's up one zip. Vancouver's got the win off that draw. And that's off a stick. Newhook's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal and now the puck's on his stick. Sends a pass over. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And he gets a glove on it to keep it on bay. Both enders work so much on their reaction time. And man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. The Canadians have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Dumps it into the O-zone. Picked up along the wall by Cooley. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And he gives it over to Barron. Good read with the stick to break that up. Shot to slide. Off the mask and he keeps it out. But fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Quick pass to Cooley. Up along the wing. the puck. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Demko's gonna hang on for a whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Miller's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Vancouver's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Dumps the puck in. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Canucks have it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Miller. Pass back to the point. Here he is, wrists it on that. Oh, a clutch save! I love his facial awareness. He knows where that puck is on his stick relative to where his opponent is. He's powerful, he's strong, he can shield, and he can take it to the net. 
Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Pedersen's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Fantastic save! From the boards, he takes that pass. Great defensive effort with the strip. The Habs take it along the wall. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Tosses it on to Garland. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Slavkovsky's got it on the offensive end. Puts it on net. Oh, what a save with the glove. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Takes it across the blue line. Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Great read with the stick. Moves it to Hughes. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them. Tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> I love it. Sends it quickly to Susie. Here he is. Shot right in front. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Handles the pass from the right side. And he dodges the poke check there. That's blocked by Demko. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. The Habs have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. The Canucks win the defensive zone faceoff. Looking to set up offensively. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Stopped by the goaltender. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 the score. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Montreal's look great thus far, leading here late in the first period. The Canucks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Scores! Off the post in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one perfectly executed. This play could have died, James, but instead they find themselves with possession because of the A for effort that he gets for being hard on the puck. And it's not just retrieval, but then it's having the mindset to attack. And that's exactly what he does off of it, and he winds up with the tally. Looks like lineups are set, and they're ready to get things back underway. draw they win the face off anderson's got it along the wing oh what a save in front demko has been outstanding tracking puck scores the go ahead goal puts them in front well and this has been trending to happen james they've been closing on the puck with leaves since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net you know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it but it still trickles in Montreal's got in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. The Canadians win possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Moves it quickly over to Besser. Denies him! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scores. I love this snap. 
tough shot from in tight James that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can Feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Habs win the faceoff. Here's a shot. Oh, great save right there on the play. And he loses control of the puck. Joshua's got it in the defensive end. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. He grabs the puck here at the point. From in close. Denies him in close. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Puck grab by Dvorak. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Forbort. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Tries to feed it over to Savard. And that slides right out to... Here's the breakaway. What a save by the Tindy there. Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back. Challenges and make the save. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. And they win the draw on their own end. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Canucks need to step up offensively and more confidence with the puck, James. They're really not entering with any conviction, and they're staying on the perimeter. The minority of shots, and they're lucky. They're real lucky that this game is still tied. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Good hit to poke him off the puck. The Canucks have it now. Puck moved over to Besser. Takes the feed. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. won the draw here and they'll go on the attack and that's blocked away garland's got it near the point and he slides it quickly to savard handles the pass matheson's got it against the boards line a's going to play into the corner the canucks have it from their own end into the offensive end right up the middle and that nullifies that threat for the moment. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Toss it up on the play. Vancouver's got the puck behind the net. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. Gets the puck over to Myers. Up the neutral zone now. And he keeps possession. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Quick feed to Barron. They've got numbers here. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Habs win that offensive zone faceoff. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. The Canadians play it along the wing. Dishes it off. And makes the routine save. 
Puck picked up by Boulder. Feeds it over. Big save. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Canucks win it. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Rocked on the play. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Feeds it on over to Bluger. And that's turned aside with a glove. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed. Slides it across. Big time stop. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Hard hit frees up the puck. The Canucks take it across the blue line. Fires it. And that goes off, pours off a body. Gains the zone through the middle. Slavkovsky's got it along the boards. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a short pass to Besser. Takes a shot. Oh, what a good save! Wow! Well past the midway mark of this period. We've got a tie game. Montreal's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. has it in the defensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Vancouver's in transition. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! There's another great save! Well, that puck came hard and it came fast and it came multiple times, but he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. To the front! Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Back to the blue line. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. Johnson for the puck and it's knocked away. And now he passes it to line A. Feeds it over on the right. Score! Stop go ahead, goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, some really great puck movement and speed through the neutral zone to gain that possession on entry, James. And then it's all about drive and attack. They take advantage of the numerical advantage and they bury it. The Canadians are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Quick feed down low. And he takes the feed. Shuts it down. Susie's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Slides the puck over to Besser. Let's see what the officials say. Well, everyone has a job in the world to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. The Canucks get their man advantage here and out there for the first time tonight. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor. Vancouver's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that carries off a body in the lane. Can't connect. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Oh, what a save! He stopped it, wow! Oh, well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck.
The crowd scooping up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by DeBrusk. With some open space here in the neutral zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Ronick's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to Heronic. Harvey Bernard standing up, ready to go. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The Canucks can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity. And really, timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Montreal's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. On the attack along the boards. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Great reach with the puck kick by Myers. Takes the puck at the point. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! And he can't hang on after that hit. Puck scooped up by Bluger. Vancouver's got it along the wall. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Ducks won the draw, and they're on the attack. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. From the right side, they gain the zone. Sends the pass down low. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. opponent has taken it to them because they've had the puck the entire game. Vancouver's got the puck. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes the saucer pass. And he's ridden off the puck. Off his stick. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. The Habs have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. From the neutral zone now. Montreal's got it from behind the net. Dishes it to Line. Here's a shot. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The coach is simply wanting an explanation as to why his team keeps getting penalized. And it's a reasonable explanation. That's all it takes. It's composed, though.
Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. We're still in the early stages of this period, and it's all tied up. Continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And that's stolen by Miller. The Canadians moving ahead. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Broken up by Savard. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the feed. The Canucks played along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Miller. Too many bodies in the way. Moves inside. Jocelyn to the pocket. He loses control. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Canucks take it along the wall. Great forecheck by Joshua. Takes the feed at the point. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Works it across to Susie. Great little puck check by the goaltender there. Montembeau's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Canucks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Garland. Here's a shot. Big stop right there. Line A's picking up steam. Takes the pass. Misses the net. Well, you utilize possession to get scoring chances, James, and they got the look that they wanted. They just missed. Not even opportunity for a rebound. That's a tough one. Sends the cross ice pass. The Canadians are in transition. Poked away in the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Line A. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looks to pass it to Strong. Takes control of the puck. Long pass across the ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Feeds it down low. Picked up along the boards by Pacetta. Takes it to the net. Comes up with the glove save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Montreal's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Gets it over to Heinen. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Quick snap! Oh, what a stick save! The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. As the official makes their way over the bench to talk to the coach, I mean, this game is anybody's game right now, Cheryl. Well, yeah, it's a critical juncture as well here, James, and the coach wants an explanation as to why the official's making the call at this time. Strike. 
Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly for Herodic. Passes it in front. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And he hangs on to the puck. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Stop that one. Look at the attack and the fans are loving this right now. Can they capitalize here with this power play in the offensive zone? Well, the time is now, James. I have the power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender. They have to take advantage. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Love save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Caulfield's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Canadians win the faceoff. Missed the net. Tried to tuck it in the corner there. Uh, you can see that he was looking in and around the post, James. And sometimes when you're trying to put it in, that's exactly what happens. He just misses. But a miss is a miss. Slides the puck over. Looking to clear the defensive zone. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap to the penalty killers who come up big. Oh, a good save! Frustrating here for the group that went out there, James, on this power play. A critical time of the game, an opportunity to score, and you don't do it. Real deflating. sure that you continue to press James you got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck don't give them an inch in all three zones huge steal in his own end from the left side they gain the zone moves it quickly over to Pedersen Sprong's got it in the offensive zone picked up along the wall by Matheson right in the open ice that one's picked off and he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Dishes it off. Stops him with the glove. Montembeau's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Where he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. Here in the late going of the frame, the Canucks are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Good hit on the play. Takes off the coverage. Quick feed to Caulfield. And it comes up with the save. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Under a minute to play in this dandy. From the point. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. A chance to end it. Scores into the empty net, and that should probably rock this one up. Yeah, it will. It'll seal the deal, James. And sure, it's hard for a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. tell you how difficult it is to push someone off the puck who has incredible balance like this, James. I mean, you're pushing, and they're just holding their ground. You try and utilize your stick, and they make you pay. And he makes them pay in multiple ways here, not only by holding on to the puck, but with a beautiful pass that winds up in the back of the net. And with that goal again,
again, so Coach is salty behind the bench right now. You can just see his whole demeanor is negative because he's not impressed with the way his team is playing. You know, it's been a lackluster effort. They didn't come ready to play. They weren't prepared. Vancouver's tenacity on full display after that empty netter. Yeah, and they earned the empty net, right, James? They got themselves a lead. They were urgent all game, and they just capitalized at the right time. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. They put the puck into the offensive end. Besser's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision Stop. to the shooter. So look at this. Here we go. They have answered back. Well, they responded exactly the way the coach and team wanted to be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact.